guys, so, um, it's really late here, but I thought that I would make a video and kind of update what's going on. Um, I had my echocardiogram yesterday, yesterday, the day before, depends on how technical you want to be. I had it done the 10th, um, and today is the late end of the 11th, early of the 12th, so, you know, a day or so, um, and I haven't, like, got the technical call from the doctor yet, um, but, you know, the tech told me a bunch of stuff, um, what was, what was kind of found, um, on it, so, I, I kind of know what happened, or what was found, um, but we're still waiting to find out if I'm going to need to have the TEE done, or not, um, and that's up to Dr. Hordy's, that's his call right now, so I'm kind of just waiting on his phone call to let me know, um, but I was really hoping, like, I would get a call today, and he was working in the cath lab, doing casts and pacemakers all day long, so I did not get a call from him, um, I'm sorry if I squint a lot, I don't have my contacts in and not wearing my glasses at the moment. Um, but the echo showed there was a significant, um, left to right shunting of blood in my atria, atriums. Um, so basically there is a great amount of blood going from my left atrium to my right atrium, so I have oxygenated blood that's essentially going through my lungs twice, um, which in, you know, a couple decades or so, or depending on how bad it gets, it can, ooh, don't fall, um, it can get, what am I saying? It can make for complications, essentially. Um, it can increase my risk for, like, right-sided heart failure and stuff like that. Um, but at least I don't turn blue because my blood's at least really oxygenated. Um, but that did, that showed... It was really funny because they did a bubble study on me, um, even though I have a positive bubble study in the past, but, um, just to double make sure that I don't have blood going from the right to the left side. And after six syringes, which essentially was like 12 tries, <laughs> um... It was a negative bubble study, so which is good. That means I do not really have blood going from the right side of my heart to the left side of the heart where it should not be going. It at least follows the correct, essentially I guess it's a right, so what to be counterclockwise direction like it's supposed to. Um, or I guess it would be clockwise really confused with that. Whatever. It goes in the correct direction until it gets back to the left atria. Or left atrium and then it gets confused on instructions. Um, I'm not making sense and I apologize for that now. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything else looked, I mean, it was still normal, um, for the most part, but there were changes 
since my last echo um, in 09 at their office and the one I had in 2010. So there were subtle changes still within normal um, like values whatnot um, for sizes and stuff but there was like an increase in some of the numbers. Um, let's see what else. So yeah, waiting on the T to find out if I'm having the T E. I'm hoping I get a call tomorrow, today, whatever you would call one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, in respect to day wise. Uh, let's see. I'm just. I'm not with it. Um, oh, this is fun. I managed somehow to essentially break my wrist. Um, I broke one of the wounds in my wrist in my sleep, which is impressive to me. Um, I woke up this morning and I couldn't really move my arm. It hurt or my wrist hurt really bad and it was swollen and bruised and I was really really confused um but I guess I somehow hit something in my sleep just right which is I say impressive because I wear um you can see I have my brace on because that's what they put me on um so I wouldn't really move around um it didn't need a cast apparently whatever that was like just like a hairline fracture. And uh, so yeah, I wore these wonderful wrist guards, braces, wrist braces. And I sleep for a carpal tunnel. Um, and I've been wearing them since 2006, maybe 2007. But like they have metal on the top and the bottom, which is why I get to wear this instead of getting a cast, I think. But, in the middle of the night, I get very frustrated, apparently, in my sleep. And I've been known to rip them off and throw them across the room. And I have no recollection of this. So I actually, like, have to wear, like, stuff so I can't rip it off at night. So it gets taped, or I wear, like, a long sleeve shirt, or I have, like, a little sleeve I can put over it. Like, you put over people or older people in like a hospital over their IV site so they don't mess with it um the netting but yeah I get to wear this now for six weeks almost all the time um I get to take it off in the shower but yeah I did that in my sleep which is I, I still think very impressive um I'm trying to think what else is going on I'm still, I'm just really tired, so I think this is a problem. Um, very lightheaded all the time. Uh, still having problems with my arms and my legs going numb. Um, I think the worst part is, is the tingling I have. My lips have been tingling now for almost a month, which is driving me bonkers. Um... But my fingers and my feet are almost completely, like, tingly all the time. My hands and my feet. And it's been moving up my arms and my legs. Like, how much it just tingles all the time rather than just going numb. So that's starting to get very annoying, to say the least. Um, and... I'm not entirely sure what they plan on trying to figure out about that. I think it still has something to do with um, my magnesium and my potassium levels, but who knows. I'm just me. But otherwise, I'm hanging in there. I'm dealing with my crazy heart rate stuff, um, which I thought was really funny with. How much time is this? Um, but 
with the tech yesterday who's doing my echo all over to death. Um, I guess she's technically a, a nurse, but she's fabulous and it cracked her up so hard because my heart rate was so all over the place, up and down, and she would tell me to like hold my breath, which is not a, for fun. And my heart rate would plummet. <laughs> and then she goes, okay, breathe. And we'll shoot back up. So I was anywhere between 40 and 130 <laughs> during my echo. Because she'd tell me to hold my breath. And then I would have a dramatic decrease. And so it's like note to self, do not hold your breath. Um, but yeah, that's about all that's going on. When I find out about the TE... I will post, um, but I'm not sure. I'm hoping he'll call tomorrow so I don't have to wait through the weekend. But yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. And since I'm totally not with it, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video now. So, talk to y'all later.